Right. Hi guys, welcome to another video. And today I'm going to talk about whether the GRE has actually gotten tougher on the math section because I've been getting a lot of questions that, you know, GRE has been getting tougher on the math part and I mean, I've I've been hearing this since I was like preparing. Even when I was preparing, a lot of people told me that dude focus on your math because um, it's gotten tougher and I kind of didn't believe them because I thought that all right I mean fine how tough can it get like it's fine it's still fine it's like not a big issue I was kind of getting like you know a uh, good score on the ETS marks at least uh, on both the power preps I got like a score of 179 sorry uh, 170 and 169 so I had a pretty good score I knew that you know I, I did not need to worry about it so much because I thought that the level of power prep would at least be comparable to the GRE math section so I don't need to worry about it as such but there's a few things I need to tell you about so let's break it down alright yeah, hi guys so again first of all I just want to tell you that while I was preparing and I was like writing my power prep 1 and power prep 2 which I thought were the closest to the you know actual exam. I was kind of consistently hearing from people that dude the GRE math section has gotten tougher and this was like my last week of the exam so I was kind of you know panicky that I probably haven't prepared for the math section so bad that they could just throw anything at me and I would be able to you know uh, deal with it. So well I still kind of you know disregarded these comments because I was able to score like a 169 and a 170 on the power prep uh, 1 and 2 respectively. So I was like fine how, how hard can it be like I'm scoring 170 uh, an average of like 169.5 so that's, that's still fine for me I mean I'll still be able to score I think 169 if not 170 that is. So. I kind of like you know underestimated the GRE like that but actually I would like to tell you that the GRE level has raised a lot and you should be prepared especially if you are above the you know 165 mark spectrum like if you are consistently scoring over 165 in your um, mock tests so you should really be prepared for it so I'm gonna just give you like an instance of how my exam was and kind of like some of the questions were really like stupid like you I had this question where I had to basically calculate the area of a circle when I was given the perimeter so you can basically guess that you've probably done these questions a million times and these are not not really that hard you just you know get the radius and then you get the area so that's fine but really um, some of the questions were really hard actually because once you start you know doing really well it, test is adaptive and they basically you know uh, increase the level of the test so one one of the questions I'm gonna tell you this is from my actual GRE test again and this was the probably one of the hardest questions I faced so it was a multiple correct question so like there were six or seven choices I had to select more than one one or more were correct right so I'm sure you've seen those questions um, Basically, what the question was about was that I was given a set of numbers. Okay, I don't remember exactly if I was told what uh, what the set of numbers look like. Like probably there was two or three questions like this. So I'm I, I'm I'm kind of like you know mixing those up, and my GI was like a fortnight ago. So anyway, um, there were like a set of numbers. The options were that suppose let, let, let's suppose this is option A, all right? That I'm gonna suppose that we change the greatest element and you know we increase it by a hundred would that affect the standard deviation okay then the option be like would that affect the standard deviation not not really affect but the question was would that increase it right so the option said something like this the standard deviation would increase if you increase the uh, largest element by hundred right then the second option was that you know the median would increase if you if you basically you know uh, increase the lowest element by 10 or something like that alright so basically these kinds of questions like there were 7 to 8 options and um, just so you know this kind, this kind of question I kind of had prepared for it but I'm, I'm gonna tell you the source I'm gonna tell you where you can prepare for these questions because I couldn't find these questions a lot in the even the 5 pound book I think there was like 1 or 2 but that's it 
the GRE EPS book is hopeless. They did not have these kind of questions. But um, yeah, if you do want to prepare for these kind of questions, I do have a source. But again, just so you know that the GRE math section has actually gotten tougher. So really keep this in mind. Make sure you you know uh, have all your bases covered. Check all of your chapters. Know where you're going wrong the most. Know which which part you need to you know work the hardest on, and really then go to this source that I'm going to tell you about, and actually you know solve the questions for for that topic. So this is like the GMAT Club website. This is the special questions directory web page. I'm gonna post this link in the description so that you guys can actually you know visit this easily. You don't have to like take the time out to find it. But again, uh, the most important section here that that helped me was the standard deviation section. I'm gonna like open this up. Uh, I'll really have it open. That's fine. Uh, okay. So basically, what this section has is like a lot of questions on basically not just standard deviation, but it's even mean, median, mode, all that stuff. You know, all that good stuff. So these questions are very, very comparable to the kind of questions I faced on the GRE. If you think you are someone who is kind of you know weak in uh, standard deviation questions or uh, mean, median, mode questions, this web page will get you to your maximum level. This will basically make sure that you don't make mistakes on the GRE. You won't make mistakes at least as I did. I kind of scored 168 on my actual exam, so I kind of lost two marks. I, I assumed I would score 170, and I guess I was wrong. So you know, you should just make sure that you're covering all of your bases. I'm, I'm telling you that this was one of the most important chapters that you know most of the hardest questions came from for, uh, for my exam. So basically, just look at these problem-solving questions. This one link represents one question each. Don't do these DS questions. These are common to the uh, GMAT exam, so you don't want to like you know waste your time over here. Don't do anything that's not you know compatible with the GRE. So just like open one of these questions, like go to these, and what you can do is actually you know just read the question here. Don't don't scroll down yet. You will find the answer down. Like if you scroll down, don't click on the spoiler. The spoiler is basically the answer. This is nothing. I don't know why they write OA, but if you uh, I don't know, maybe you could just tell me in the comments, I don't know what it, what this is. But you can just click on the spoiler and you will get the answer. I'm not going to click it basically because I know a lot of you might have not, you know, solved this one. So, just, you know, just take a look at this question which of the sets has a standard deviation greater than the standard deviation of set A. So basically, they're going to give you, you know, all of these sets. It's going to clear your understanding. You, you're going to make sure that you don't make mistakes. These questions are really good. There's like a lot of them. You don't have to do a lot of them, but make sure you do like the top 10, 15 least. You're gonna you're gonna have a little better overview of the standard deviation here. You're gonna make sure you basically don't go wrong so easily, right? It's best if you can do this. And again, if you think that you know you are weak on some other sections, you might want to you know uh, make sure that you practice from here as well. If you have the time, that is. But standard deviation, I definitely recommend you actually practice these questions. These are really great questions. They, they would really, really help increase your score dramatically, at least by one or two marks straight away. Just 10 to 15 questions over here. Uh, trust me, one or two marks really do matter when you're actually, you know, coming out of the exam. And you, like, there's a huge difference between 165 and 167. You might know, right? Again, one more thing that I wanna like make sure you guys understand is how the GRE really works. So, like, this is the official guide, and um, let's just take a look at one thing that I actually, I don't know where it is, evaluating your performance. Okay, I'm gonna go, like, a lot more down than this, and it's why I was, okay. So, this is, like, the practice test one. Okay, let's, let's actually open the practice test two over here, like, the same page for the practice test two. I, I want to just show you this difference that I noticed might be like really helping this is again the practice test one let's go one more time okay one more one more okay so this is like the practice test tool right so what this is is basically the marking scheme all right score conversion table so let's actually look at the second one first this test has if you like this is the written GRE test so you know the one you take with a uh, I think the pen paper and pencil paper based test this is not the online test, but still the fundamentals remain the same. Their marking scheme remains the same. It's kind of esoteric, but I'm gonna make sure you understand a little bit of it. 
so that even if you're watching this video on your last week, you don't get scared about the GRE being harder. All right. So let's suppose you got all 50 questions correct. By the way, the the paper based test has 50 questions instead of like 40. So if you're giving like one math and one verbal section, you won't have 40 questions in total. They would be like sorry, uh, two verbal sections. I mean, or two math sections. There won't be 40 questions in total, there will be actually 50 questions in total. So if you took the test and you had like 50 questions correct, all 50 correct, you would get a 170 on verbal and you know 170 on the quantitative. Alright? So again, if you if you took like the test and you got 49 questions correct for, for the quantitative part, you would get 169 correct, 169 marks here. Again, if you got one for, uh, if you got 48 questions, Correct. That means you did two wrong, so you get like 167. So what's the deal with this? Like, why did they not put 168 here? What what is happening? Like, where is 166 even? So this was like I'm gonna tell you like why this is like this. This was like one of the easiest math tests that I had given. That's why like I I, I think I scored like 170 on this one. This was like the paper based test. It is actually very accurate if you give it like very comparable to my actual score on the GRE. So you can try this if you are running low on mocks. But the main issue that I'm targeting here is that you look at these, these quantitative scores, and you see that they are basically, you know, even if you get one question wrong, you're getting like, you know, one mark deducted. And especially if you get like two or three questions wrong, after that you're getting two marks deducted even. So this is because the test was really easy. The test is scale. Alright? So it won't always be the case that you know it will be like this like I'm gonna show you this one this is the test one it was actually a lot harder alright so what happens here is that if you score 50 you get 170 49 170 48 170 47 again 170 so just because of the level of the test kind of increased the scale of the marking has actually you know uh, been a lot more lenient I would say alright so make sure you get this concept because even for the verbal section I think this was harder so maybe you know this section has like a lot more lenient scores I, I actually scored a 329 on this test with power grip 1 sorry the written test 1 this is on the back of the official guide it's very accurate I scored a 329 on my next day when I went for the GRE so like I gave it like the night before and uh, Basically, my score was very accurate in these in, in this one. So I would highly recommend that you write this test and you understand the concept basically that these scores, if you are getting a harder test, that doesn't mean that you're going, you're fucking up. It's it's totally fine. Please keep going. Don't get scared during the test and just yeah, make sure that you you know notice the difference between these two. And I've tried my level best to make sure that you know most people here understand, but. Uh, the only thing is that you know if you if you have the psychological you know thing going on in your head that the GRE has gotten tough and I won't be able to score more marks like this like even if you 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 get like one of the hardest questions on your first section and you have two more math sections remaining let's suppose that like your experimental is the math one which is true in in like eighty percent of the cases so don't think about it that way keep giving your best. Don't think that you know you have messed up or you'll have to take it again anyway. Just give your best, and you might you might just surprise yourself because the score might uh, the scale might just look like this one. All right. So I suppose that's that's all I want to tell you. I'll post the link for this page in the description. Uh, make sure you check this out, this link out, and make sure you actually you know uh, work on your mistakes wherever you're going wrong. If there's anything you would like me to answer apart from this, or any video you would like me to make you know, any topic that you are especially interested in, please mention them in the comments below and um, I would definitely make sure that it's up and running in like one or two days. Again, uh, thanks for watching this if you're like gotten till this part and uh, please do consider subscribing and giving me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thanks.